Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the electric guitar tutorial for Little Drummer Boy by Lincoln Brewster. Let's jump right into it. So today I'm going to be playing through the Line 6 patch that I created for the Helix, HX Stomp, HX Effects, and Pod Go. So if you have any of those units, um, feel free to click the link below and download this for yourself. So I'm going to be playing through Snapshot 1. And I'm going to go over the intro for you. The, there's really two guitar parts. The first guitar part is a rhythm guitar part. And the second is like kind of more of like a higher uh, mid-rangey, like, I guess, lead, but also rhythm type guitar part as well. The first one sounds like this. And then you're into that second part. So that's just going back and forth between your four chord, which is your C chord, and your one chord, which is your G chord. By the way, we're in the key of G for this song. By the way, I'm gonna be playing on my bridge pickup, which is gonna be on the verses and the intros and interludes. So that first chord is a C2 chord. So how I'm playing that is my middle finger on the third fret A string, ring finger on the third fret B string, and pinky on the third fret E string and I'm muting this D string with my middle finger. So it's just going to be. And then I'm basically just moving one finger to my one chord, which is my G chord on the low E string third fret. And then it's going to be your sixth chord, which is going to be your E minor seven. And so what I'm doing is I'm keeping my pinky and my ring finger there and adding my first finger to the second fret A string and middle finger second fret D string. And then you're back to your C chord. Okay, now here's that second part. So that's just gonna be your ring finger and pinky on the 12th fret G and B string. And a lot of it is in your just your right hand. Downstrokes. And then that's an upstroke. So your second chord is going to be your ring finger on that still that 12th fret G string. But your first finger is on the 12th, uh, 10th fret B string. So it's going to be down, 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 up, down, down, up. And then you're going to start on this chord. So that's going to be your pinky added to the 13th fret B string, and then resolving back down to the 12th fret. And then you're just looping that over and over again. All right, so now we're in the verse. I'm going to switch over to my verse snapshot. And basically, there's kind of two parts again. There's that low part. And then there's going to be that like lead line that Lincoln plays uh, over the top when we get into the later part of the verses. Um, so that first one is the. So that's going to be just on your low string, first fret and third fret. So you're going to play that low E string um, a series of times, and then you're going to actually switch to chords. And that first chord is. That's going to be your D over F sharp. So that's going to be first finger on the second fret low E string, and then ring finger on the third fret B string, and middle finger on the second fret uh, G string. And then you're going to go to your A minor chord. That's just a traditional A minor chord there. And then this is going to be uh, an F chord. So it's going to be basically an F2 chord. So it's going to be ring finger on the um, third, third fret D string, open G string, first finger on the first fret B string. And then you're going to resolve to basically a, a one over three, which is like a C chord. But it's basically you're resolving that one fret down. And 
then everything tightens up again. You go to that low part and then you're back into that interlude again. So then on the second verse after that interlude, there's some lead lines that Lincoln throws in there. One of them sounds like this. So that's just a shuffle. And then on your G string 14th fret, just going to be a bend. Um, you can either do a half step bend or a whole step bend. Or, and then it's going to be a pull off to the 12th fret G string. Or you can you can pick it. And then that second lick sounds like this. So that's going to be a slide on your 14th fret A string. And then it's going to be your 12th fret G string. That same kind of bend there. But you're going to be barring, that's how I play it, I bar my 14th fret D string and G string. And then it's going to be a hammer on to the, from the 12th fret G string to the 14th. And then it's going to be a hammer on pull off deal. Okay, it's just going to be a hammer on to the 14th fret G string. Pull off. And then a, a pick on the 14th fret D string and another pull off to the 12th fret D string. And then there's another cool bend thing that he does is. So that's just going to be another bend, but that's starting on your B string 15th fret. Going to your 13th fret B string. And then another, another bend there. So at that point, you should be towards the end of this verse too. All right, so the beginning of the solo, you're going to be switching from your bridge pickup to your neck pickup. And this is what that first part sounds like. So it's going to be that similar thing you did in the verse. It's going to be a slide to the 14th fret A string. And then plucking your first, uh, your 12th fret, first finger, G string. So I'm actually barring the G string and D string. Sounds like this. So it's going to be G, D. And it's going to be 14th fret G string. Then a slide to the 16th fret G string. And then it's going to be another slide to the 17th fret G string. And then I do another slide there from the 14th to the 16th. And then on the 12th fret, G string. And then it's going to be picked on the 14th fret, D string to the 12th fret. And then do that part again. And then there's going to be a descending line. It sounds like this. So something like that. So I'm going to play it slowly. It's all pentatonic scales. So if you're unfamiliar with the pentatonic scale, it's just a, a box that in the key of G, it appears on the 12th fret. Okay, so the first note in that descending line is going to be on the 15th fret high E string. So it's going to be 15 to 12, pull off, to 15 B string to 12 B string. To middle finger on the 14th fret G string. And then you're going to go back up. You're going to jump back up to your B string. 15, 12 on the B string. Pull off to your 12. Then 14, 12 G string. So it's just going to be a series of you play a string below, you jump back up, play another string below that, and jump back up to that one. So it's going to be. So that's on your D string now, 14, 12. And then back to up to your G string, 14, 12. So 
eventually you're going to find your way down to the four, uh, 10th fret A string. And then 14th fret D string to um, 12th fret D string. Down to your A string, 14, 12. And then it's going to be a slide down to your 10th fret A string. So now we're in that second part of the solo, and it, it starts off the same way it started at the beginning. Hesitate before you hit that 12th fret G string. Cap it off 14th fret D string. Slide 14 to 17 G string. And then 14 to 16. And this is where it gets different. Middle finger, 15th fret B string. And then cap it off on the 16th fret G string. Do this part again. And then this is that bendy part at the end. Okay, so it's going to be bend, whole step, 15th fret B string. And then jump straight to your 13th fret B string. Then it's going to be a bend, middle uh, ring finger, G string, 15th fret. To the B string, 13th fret. So then it's going to be 15th fret B string. And then middle finger, 14th fret G string. Bend. Cap it off on the 12th fret G string. So then after the solo, uh, it drops into a down section. And before we do that, like, final outro. And I included on the Helix patch a an expression of just a, a high cut. And so what it does is you use the expression pedal. And so it sounds like really dark. But if I move the expression pedal up. And so that'll help you get down that. Um, and then that's where we're full band again. So feel free to use that. And um, if you're not using the Helix, just use a high cut and then bring it way down and attach it to an expression pedal. Then you could do this exact same effect. Okay, so now we're in that final outro and we're going to start that part out with octaves. It sounds like this. Just going to be your first finger, G string, 12th fret, pinky, 15th fret, E string. So it's really rhythmic. So then there's that really fast lick that is descending, and it sounds a lot like the same lick that you played in the guitar solo. It's just faster, but the pattern is just slightly different. So it's, I'm going to play it fast for you. That's kind of how fast it goes in the song. And then I'm going to play that slow for you and show you what's going on. So it's going to be that same thing, 15, 12, 15, 12, B string, then 14, G string to 12. All pull-offs. 15 fret, 12 fret. And then work your way down to the 14 to 12 D string. Back to the, your G string, 14, 12, 14, 12, D string. And then you're going to cap it off on the 14th fret A string. So it's going to be slowly like this. And then you're going to finish that off on the 12th fret G string. So then you're back to your octaves again. And then there's another cool lick. It sounds like this. So how I'm doing that is 12th fret E string. Bend. 15th fret B string. 
and then this is an easy part. Barring your D string and G string. G string, D string, finish it off on the 12th fret G string. Okay, so then there's one last lick. It's very similar to how you played it in the guitar solo. It sounds like this. Okay, but it's just a couple different notes in there. So it's going to be that bend on the 15th fret. 15 to, it's just a whole step bend. But you're going to play the 15th fret B string. 12th, uh, 13th fret B string. Bend on that 15th fret G string. And then you're going to actually bend with your middle finger on the 14th fret G string. It's going to be a bend. And then 12th fret G string. Back to barring your 14th fret G string and D string. G and then D string. And then finish that off on the 12th fret G string. And then to cap it off, you're going to do that slide again, basically almost like you're treating it like the beginning of the guitar solo. So that's going to be your slide to the 14th fret A string, and then cap it off with your 12th fret G string. I'm going to play that. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button down below. That'll help me out a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next video.